Hi, good morning everyone. Today we are going to solve a couple of problems that was uh, given to me from one of our subscribers. This problem I believe is um, probably around pre primary 4 and primary 5 range. Let's get on to the problems straight. Uh, Mr. Clark had some pineapples for sale. So we do not know how many pineapples Mr. Clark had. Uh, he sold 24 pineapples in the morning. In the afternoon, he sold two-seventh of the remainder of the pineapples. So then he had half of the total number of pineapples left. How many pineapples did Mr. Clark have at first? So let's start from the beginning. Mr. Clark had some pineapples for sale. We do not know how much. So what we could do is just come up with a big box to represent the total number of pineapples that Mr. Clark had for sale. And the next piece of information that we have is he sold 24 pineapples in the morning. So we can just randomly select some box here and make it as 24. <clears throat> so this is the number of pineapples that Mr. Clark sold in the morning. In the afternoon, he sold two-seventh of the remainder, meaning this is the remainder portion here, right? And if we divide this remainder portion into seven parts, out of that seven parts, he sold two parts, right? Let's divide this into seven parts, the remainder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And two out of seven was sold in the afternoon. So two units here are sold or were sold in the afternoon. After selling this, he had half of the total number of pineapples left. See, if this is the total number of pineapples, now what he has left here is half of the total number of pineapples. And this half is represented by one, two, three, four, five units. And you know that we divided them into equal, seven equal units, which means the unit sizes of this, 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 all of these are the same. So here, if half of the pineapples is five units, the other half should also be equal to five units, all right? So we can write it like this, 24 pineapples plus two units here is equal to five units here. Now, if this is two units, and remember, these two units are of the same size of these two units, of, or meaning these five units. So if this is two units, this portion should be logically three units of the same size. So three units represents 24 pineapples. And one unit is 24 divided by three, which gives you eight. Now let's go to find the total number of pineapples that Mr. Clark had in the beginning. We know that the total number of pineapples is represented by how many units? Here is five units, so it should be five units here. So in total, we have 10 units, right? So the total pineapple is 10 units, and we have also found out one unit is equal to eight pineapples. So 10 units will give us 10 times eight, 80 pineapples. So that's the answer. Hope I did not rush through. Uh, this is quite a simple problem. So I'm not going to go into detail to explaining this further. I hope you understand that. And if you have any questions, do remember to you know, put them down or jot them down in the comments section. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe my channel if you want to receive further updates, right? And share with your friends finally. Now, let's go to the second question. Bella bought some buns and cakes. Bella bought some buns and cakes for $24.80. Uh, do we know the number of buns and cakes? No, we don't. But we know the total cost is $24.80. A bun and cake costs 90 cents altogether. What does that mean? 
which means one bun plus one cake, right? They cost 90 cents altogether. So if you buy another bun and another cake, that will be 90 cents. So she bought more buns than cakes. This is where, uh, this is the only place where we see the reference between the bun and the cakes. What we uh, know from here is that the number of buns that she bought is more than the cakes, right? The cost of the extra buns that she bought was $6.80. How many cakes did she buy? So we will have to start with some reference points. So we know that she bought more buns than cakes. So let's start with that. Buns and cakes. So we draw a bigger box for buns because she bought more buns than cakes. And the second piece of information that we know is the cost of the extra buns was $6.80. So until this, the buns and cakes are equal. This is extra buns that she bought. So that the cost of that is $6.80. And additional information, a bun and a cost, uh, sorry, a bun and a cake cost 90 cents altogether. So if you look at it here, this could be one cake, one bun combo, right? It's one group, and this is costing 90 cents. Similarly, you could have another bun, another cake. Together, they will cost 90 cents, and so on. We don't know how many of them are there, but we know that there are groups of 90 cents here. We do not know how many groups are there. We have to figure out, but one group, the value of one group is 90 cents. Now, let's go back. The total cost of the buns and cakes, cakes that she bought was $24.80. So the total cost is $24.80. And we can easily see that if I remove 680 from this 2480, we have the cost for this. So 2480 minus 680, that gives me $18, right? So the cost of this is $18. And we also know that this whole is made up of many such groups of 90 cents. How many 90 cents groups are there in $18? That's what we have to figure out. So $18 divided by 90, 90 cents, that gives you 20, which means that there are 20 such groups here. Right? Each group is made of one bun and one cake. And there are 20 such groups here. And since there are 20 such groups here, it means there are 20 buns in this area and 20 cakes within this. Right? So the total number of cakes bought by Bella is 20. Hope this is clear. The only uh, area where you may want to further look into is this. Basically, this is the concept of multiplication and division, right? Basic multiplication and division concept. That is, you have groups. The total value of the groups is $18. Each group value is 90 cents. So in $18, how many 90 cents are there? That's what we have to figure out here to find the number of cakes or the number of buns. Hope that was clear. If you have questions, once again, do drop me in the comments section. Jot whatever your questions are in the comments section. Uh, if you like the video, press the like button, the bell button, and the subscribe button. Share it with your friends, and have a great day. Thank you.